take it, mate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's one there, I can see one. Hello and welcome to 50 Licks, our new podcast from 50 to 1. We're here at the HQ. Um, just want to run you through where we're at with this and uh, introduce you to our new podcast. Um, it's definitely something we've not done much of in the past. We've always guested on other people's. Um, but we do enjoy podcasts. I'm sure everyone does and we just want to have a little input on that side of things and yeah, have a chat and just give you an insight on what we do and what we're up to and what the boys and everyone around us is uh, getting up to. And yeah, we're passing the mic on this one because we're still teething. But thank you, sir. Yeah, um, that's it. It's been um, it's been an amazing journey so far, and I think the next step in the evolution of the fifty to one channel is. Um, like Lou said, bringing you a bit of an insight and a bit more detail in um, Matt, all matters to wheeled and beyond into the general lives of the crew. So, um, yeah, we're looking forward to delving a bit deeper and sharing Matt with um, the audience of the channel. So if there's anything um, you want to see, you've got to get involved and let us know about that sort of thing. And um yeah, we want it to be as interactive as possible. So, um, yeah, next step, incoming. But um, before we go any further with the um, details of what's to come, I think it's important to look back in time a little bit, in it, Luce, and um, see where we've come from all those years ago. Um, it was 2007 when we first met at uh, Petey's Warncliffe Weekender. And um, much water has passed under the bridge since then, hasn't it? Definitely. Always good to pull things back. Um, yeah, just been a crazy journey along the way. It's just many countries visited, people met. We've seen how far this thing we've created spread. You know, we've been Japan, Jamaica, Chile, Colombia. There's always been like that love not even necessarily through people. They might not even be able to understand the words we're saying. I mean, that's <laughs> a lot of people, even English people. But, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I think it just has a lot to say about like bikes and the the mutual love for them and and that the language that's spoken through bikes and just the good times it's had on them. So yeah, it's been a crazy journey and. To see how much 50 to 1 has grown through just that support in them people. And it's definitely a driving factor that keeps it um, fun to do. And just really, yeah, keeps the passion burning. Just seeing, like, what people get out of what we're putting in. So, yeah. 2007 is where it started. Petey brought us together at Wancliffe Weekend. And it was... Sambi was with us. We were... I don't even... I don't know how old I was then, or 2007, I was 14, I think I had a couple of tinnies, and I was getting roughed up in the uh, mosh pit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's just been a really rewarding journey, and we want to just keep that going and give you an insight with 50 licks. Yeah, man, and like you said, the crew, <coughs> the crew's grown so much along the way. Um, We've been very fortunate. A lot of like-minded individuals have come together, haven't we? And um, it's funny how you tend to sort of gravitate towards people with um, similar out similar similar outlooks and also um, similar passions. But but at the same time, there's so much diversity with within the crew, and I think that's what's important to share with everybody because. Um, strength in numbers in not in like a, a in a like a fighting manner or any of that but just like in a what what we've built has a lot of contributing factors from all different walks of life and backgrounds and um yeah it's been it's it's really interesting to see what each character has added to the table um and yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be fun to delve into each person individually on this couch and have have a good laugh about it and uh, 
see see where see what each person adds and their their take on current affairs, cycling and yeah, the industry as we know it. Yeah, I think we've up to now we've done a, a good job of showing everyone's riding personalities, but not necessarily gone so into the personalities off the bike. So yeah, as you say, it's going to be good to just just yeah celebrate that diff diff different all the different characters that we have um, around us. Um, things that you can expect us to be talking about. Um, got a few got a few pointers wrote down here but um views and likes is a is a is a funny one mental health and how they compare um obviously social media is such a big part of being a professional rider now um yeah and yeah yeah and everybody's everyday life isn't it i think like we we take it for granted as like professionals that we have to use that medium to sort of express ourselves and show show what we're doing but also how you know the knock-on effect that has us that has on to everybody else and how how commonly used that is so there's a lot there's a lot to talk about in that category which will be fun when we get on to that one won't it yeah. and then yeah what else have we got going on we've got um the, the chat with paley was really interesting wasn't it where we got into like a lot of um a lot of um, BMX crossover skill sets and then a bit of diet and nutrition stuff and coming back from injury, but ended up actually pretty long, didn't it? So that could end up a two-part series. Um, yeah. Yeah, another one we, we want to touch on is like the, the switch up in our content and deliverance. Um, we're definitely wanting to take things back towards hard copies and give you people something to be able to revisit um, down the line, whether you sat at a coffee table or sat on the throne. want to just give you something that's, yeah, something that's not just put on Instagram and forgotten about or YouTube or whatever. Um, I think wheel size, bike setup and trends is another one that will be fun to touch on. And Everyone has different bikes and different... Um, setups and always receiving messages about what size is this what size is that um so i think it's going to be a fun one to touch on about that kind of yeah yeah definitely mate definitely i think it's almost like a new genre from when we started 2016 when we're doing that brightling video it's like we had um your cross country bike essentially your training bike was what we first started playing on wasn't it and to to where we're at now when we've all got multiple setups um yeah there's a lot to cover there and it's an exciting time in mountain biking where you can have such a diverse range of whips for a diverse range of terrain <coughs> so yeah lots to cover exciting times um yeah big up for everyone to for supporting us this far it's been um a really fun journey and everybody who tunes into the youtube channel and gets involved in the online store they've you've kept it happening for us and um it's uh it's exciting to evolve and take and keep moving with the times and um yeah we're just trying to be as transparent as possible and keep everyone up to date with how how and why and where we're going to do everything and um yeah cheers for being involved in the journey yeah definitely um just want to just yeah extend that thank you and love because it's like it's the main driving factor in what keeps us you know it's being at races and being at events you get to like feel that sort of connection on a on a person to person basis but when you're doing what we've ended up doing where you're sort of on your own program at home doing film projects and you know just you just in your own world and sometimes like you begin to, I don't know you're just losing them connect connections are what keeps like 
you know, you you share you share the love and what have you. So every time someone reaches out and says that what we're doing helps them through their daily life or, you know, anything like that is just really appreciated and everything we do is just to give back and it just it works both ways. So much love. Yeah. We hope you enjoy what we're gonna bring to you. And um tune in. We'll let you know when it's going to drop. We've got a little bit of um, fine-tuning to do, and we can't promise we're going to deliver one weekly or monthly or whatever it is, but when we uh, get our stuff together a little bit more, we'll give you a bit more idea and, yeah, look forward to hearing what you guys think about the new direction. Yeah.